Welcome everyone to tonight's call. This is session four already, session four of our September mental health series. Um, I'm Nick DeCivio. For those of us that haven't met, I'm a, a holistic health coach and a partner with the Juice Plus Company. And I, um, as you, many of you know, I've been partnering with Kate Kunkel, who's our expert brain health trainer. With um, we've been partnering with, with the month of, in the month of September to focus on on mental health. And tonight's session, we're going to be focusing on movement. And so we're really excited to welcome Martha Potvin, who is a personal trainer and a health coach, and she's going to take us through just a really gentle stretch and balance practice. And Martha, I'll turn it over to you to help maybe explain a little bit more about what you do. Thank you. And I'm really excited to be here. I was very honored to be asked. So um, enjoy meeting everyone. And I got an opportunity to watch some of the previous weeks um, with Kate, um, just to get a, a little idea of what you've all been focusing on. Um, tonight, I'll be focusing on um, balance and movement and stress reduction through movement. Um, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a brief introduction um, just to be on that theme of balance. Um, and it was inspired today by the autumnal equinox um, because in nature, today is one of only two days of the year that we have equal light and darkness. And just as in nature, um, it's very, very difficult to achieve perfect balance in life, whether it's in nature or whether it's in all the different facets of our life. I think we all work very hard um, to achieve a sense of balance. Um, and that's always a focus in my practice, whether it's with our, my workouts, um, with my clients, um, or in with my own personal life, I, I try to stay in tuned with my sense of balance in life, whether it's physical. I think it's obviously very important um, that we have good balance so we don't fall and hurt ourselves. So on that physical level, um, I also think it's good to stretch often because we don't want imbalances physically. If you have um, tight muscles, tight joints, you're going to eventually have an injury and a setback. So physically um, being out of balance is not ideal um, physically. Um, but when we wanna talk about our overall health and wellness, we often just think about nutrition and fitness as those primary areas. Um, but there are so many more dimensions to our overall wellness and, and, and it's a continual uh, journey. It's never perfect. Sometimes it's better than other times. So I like to get people to not only just think about the physical aspects of health and well-being, but also to keep in mind all the other areas and dimensions of our lives that we really need to work and focus on. And some of those areas are obviously, I just said, our physical well-being. You know, are we taking the time to get that movement. And I don't like to use the word exercise. Did I get out for a walk? Did I move my body today? Did I get X amount of steps? Because movement is so critical to our overall physical health. It, it's, it's important for our endocrine system, endocrine system, which is affecting our hormones. So um, it lowers our stress hormones. It elevates our happy, I call them happy hormones, our endorphins that we're familiar with. And I know Kate, you've been talking about those neurotransmitters in the brain, if you've been following, it's just incredibly helpful to move your body, to elevate heart rate, to get the breathing going. And the exercise is critical for our overall health and well-being. Um, but we also want to think about our emotional well-being because we could be eating right and exercising, but if we're stressed and or sad or angry or any of those negative emotions, it's going to put us out of balance. So we're still not going to be healthy just because we're exercising and eating right. Um, and then there's the balance of family life, work life, spiritual life, um, in all of those different dimensions of our lives. So it's um, I'm sorry to say almost impossible to be in perfect balance. All we can do is wake up every day and strive. But one of the biggest uh, components I would say that it's within your control 
to try to maintain that balance in terms of maintaining your hormone levels and lowering your stress and anxiety is to get up and move. Um, but movement doesn't have to be hard. Yoga, Tai Chi, I think. I heard someone say they were just coming from a Tai Chi class. Movement can be slow, controlled, and be very beneficial. So tonight's not going to be cardiovascular. That's a different, that's a different time. Maybe we'll do that another time. Um, so tonight's going to be very gentle, but I'm going to incorporate some messages into it while we're doing movement in terms of um, the other areas of life. And I will be including a little bit of guided meditation before we do the movement um, to get you kind of settled. So all you have to do is be seated. I'm in a little folding chair and we're not gonna be getting up and around too much um, tonight, but I want you to really pay attention to a couple of things. Just how you feel right now. I'm gonna bring you sort of an, aware, an awareness of like how your body feels at this present moment. And at, as we end and we go through these gentle movements, I really also want you to pay attention to how just what, 25 minutes of gentle movement, the breathing, I know you practiced meditation last week. I'm going to incorporate the deep and restorative breath, which is the key to lowering our stress and bringing our body to a state of relaxation. So this is a great way to end your night. Hopefully it will help you sleep better, feel better. Um, so in that, before I get started, I just wanted to do a check-in to see if anyone had questions or concerns. Okay, so do what you can. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it ever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your body, but I promise you this will be very, very gentle. So again, all I want you to do, I'm just sitting on a chair wherever you are. I'm going to be using the theme of balance throughout the next 20 minutes to kind of maybe cover all those dimensions as we do the practice. So just do some gentle shoulder rolls up, back and down. And start to deepen your breath. And then I'm going to invite you to set the shoulders back and down. And I want you to find a comfortable place for your hands. And I want you to sit with a nice tall spine. And I want you to just concentrate on your breath. So we're gonna start with the breath to calm and still the body and mind. And we're gonna do equal breaths. And if the four count that I use is not your count, do it at your own pace. So on a count of four, I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath in for four, three, two, one, and hold it for four, three, two, one and release it for four, three, two, and one. A deep breath in, two, three, four, and hold it for four, three, two, one, and release four, three, two, and one. One more time, deep inhale in, two, three, four, and hold it for four, Three, two, one, and release for four, three, two, and just bring your breath to a natural rhythm, a natural state, keeping your eyes closed, balancing out the breath, calming down the body. I'm going to go through a body scan, and I'm going to start with your left toes. You can wiggle them around. And I just want you to observe and then try to soften your body on the left side. So starting in the toes, tops and soles of your feet, your ankles and heel, your left shin and calf, your left thigh and hamstring, left hip and buttocks, the left side of your belly and low back, 
softening the left side of your chest and shoulder, upper back, and softening all the way down the left arm and to the left fingertips. And traveling back up the left side of your neck, unlocking and releasing, relaxing your left side of your jaw behind the left eye and through the left side of the top of your head. And travel back down to your right toes, softening and relaxing the tops and soles of your right foot, top of your ankle and keel, your shin, your left, your, sorry, right calf, right thigh, right hamstring, softening the right hip and buttocks, right side of your belly and low back, right side of your chest and shoulder all the way down the right arm and to your right fingertips. And back up the right side of your neck, unlocking the right side of your jaw, releasing any tension behind your right eye, forehead and the crown of your head. Just take a few moments with your eyes lightly closed to notice your energy now. Oh, notice that energy in and around surrounding you. And as we do our practice today, I'm going to ask you to consider as we start this new season of fall on this day of complete balance, where in your life do you feel you need more balance? Whatever comes to mind. Physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, professionally, whatever that is, make an intention now. As we start this new season, it's a beautiful time to reset Make those intentions to improve your well being and bring more joy into your life. And you can open your eyes. And we're going to start the movement and the breathing. We're just going to start rolling the shoulders back and down, up, back and down. And we're going to inhale up and we're going to exhale back and down. So, incorporating that breath into the movement. Our exhale is the release. Our inhale is purifying, it's restoring, it's opening us up. And then I want you to set the shoulders back and down and take your right hand over and above your left ear. Gently guide your right ear to shoulder. And then with your left fingertips, try to press them to the floor and breathe. Try to create as much space from the top of your left shoulder to the earlobe as you can. Trying to bring softening and a release to those tight muscles that support the weight of our head and hold on to so many of our emotions all day long. Just breathe, let your breath, let the tension come out of your body Then taking your right hand across, use your right hand to massage and oh boy, oh dear. We got some tight muscles going on over here. And then we're gonna slowly come out of that stretch and we're gonna bring our head to center. I want you to release your right arm down to the ground, Stand, sit up tall, close your eyes and notice how out of balance that is, the, that left shoulder. So we had our right ear to right shoulder. So we stretched the left side should sit lower and you should feel a lot more space between the ear and the shoulder. So we'll set the shoulders back and down, left ear to left shoulder, left hand over right ear. We're gonna gently guide that ear down and push the right fingertips to the ground, creating space. 
between the top of your shoulder and your ear and just breathe into that tightness and let it go. Nice, long, deep breaths. The longer we can hold, the more relaxed you can allow yourself to be, the better the stretch, those muscles will respond. You can take that left hand to massage the right side of the neck, working into those tight muscles. I know when I feel stressed, all of it settles right in this little area. We also spend so much of our lives over our phones and our laptops and we're forward folding and our head goes forward. So that causes a lot of physical tension. All right, and then you can slowly release that. Hopefully when you close your eyes, you're now balanced and those muscles are lengthened. So I know a lot of us are in different places so we don't have to move very far to inhale and lift and reach up as far as you can and exhale down. So inhale, lift. So you can be standing, you can be sitting. I know some of you are in your car. We can do it wherever we are. Inhale if you're at your desk during the day and release. We're gonna do two more. Big inhale up and exhale down. So we're gonna make a W formation. This will help with your posture and open up the chest and shoulders. So we're gonna push forward like you're pushing something away. You're gonna exhale, draw the shoulder blades together, inhale, return. Or if your breathing is opposite of mine at any time, it really, whatever rhythm of breath you find that works with this nice stretch. Good, opening up the chest. This will help with posture. Nice work, two more. And one, and roll those shoulders out. So if you're sitting or standing, you want your feet nice and wide and just reach your arms up. Take your right elbow with your left hand and you're gonna take a gentle side bend, bend directly down the left side. And when you're in the stretch, I want you to try to lift out of the tip of your right elbow and breathe into the right side of your body. Nice, nice long deep breaths, breathing into the body, releasing what's tight. Take one more deep breath and then slowly release and bring it down. Roll it out. See if you can tell the difference between the two sides of your body, between that side you just stretched and the one that we need to. So we're gonna reach up and grab the left elbow Gently bend directly down the side of the body and then really focus on trying to lift out of the tip of your left elbow. Just breathe into that. Ah, so best part about this type of gentle stretching and breathing at the end of a long day, you're just gonna feel so good at the end. You are waking up your parasympathetic nervous system, which is gonna help with a good night's sleep, calming everything, and then coming up and releasing. So if you're standing, um, you're just clasping your hands. If you're sitting, you might wanna sit on the very edge of your seat like I am. You're going to clasp the back, your hands together behind you. I know you can't see me very well, there we go. And you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together first and then try to lift those arms up and feel that deep stretch through the chest and front of your shoulders. So you can choose to stay here, or like I said, separate your feet nice and wide, either sitting or standing, hinging, not yet, just hinging, bringing your chin to chest and just gently coming forward and breathing into that. Try to release any tension in your neck And when you're ready, roll up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, nice and gentle. Ah, oh, and that feels good. Nicely done.
So for balance, we just stretched the front of the shoulder. We're gonna get the backs of your shoulders. So I'm gonna take my right arm and I'm gonna keep it straight, either below or above the elbow. Hug it across your chest so you feel it in the back of your shoulder. Set the shoulder down though, don't let it pull up. And then when you're sitting there, sit up nice and tall and then gently turn your gaze over that shoulder that you're stretching and breathe. Two more breaths. Ah, every once in a while it just feels good. I sometimes I just let out a big sigh, like, oh, it feels so, so good. And then release. And again, in between stretches, check it out. Notice how much looser the back of that shoulder feels. And then I'm gonna take that left arm, shoulder set back and down. We're gonna hug it straight across, keeping that shoulder down. It likes to come up, so keep it down. And then gaze over that shoulder you're stretching. And tap back into your breath. And then slowly release. So if you're on the floor, like I see a few of you are on the floor, I'm gonna give you two options here. I'm gonna show you how to do angry cat seated. And this is good just, it's actually good just to know, okay? Either way, because if you are at a desk at work all day, you're gonna wanna know how to do both of these stretches. So what we're doing is trying to round the spine and lift the chest in either position. So if I'm seated, again, I'm at the edge of my seat, I'm gonna slide my hands down and as I do, I'm gonna tuck under my tailbone. I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna tuck, I'm gonna round, I'm gonna tuck my chin in, and I'm gonna make a C formation of my back. And as I come out of it, I'm gonna lift and pull my elbows by my side and I'm gonna lift my chin and chest. Now, if you are on the floor, as I see some of you on your mats, you're gonna do on your hands and knees in a tabletop position where your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and your hips are right under. You're gonna inhale, lift your chin and chest, exhale round. Inhale, lift the chin and chest. And we're really just trying to open up the spine. So whether you're in the chair, I'll do it on the chair now, rounding, tucking everything under and lifting or on your hands and knees, we're just trying to stretch and open up that back. Good. Two more, tuck everything under and lift the chin and chest. One more time, exhale round. And inhale, lift, okay. Nicely done, okay. So I'm giving two options because they're available to us. If you're in a chair, you're going to do seated pigeon, which opens up the hip. If you're on the ground, give me one moment. So we're gonna take the right foot over left knee in a figure four, just like that. You're gonna sit up tall and you're gonna hinge forward and you're gonna open up that right hip. You don't wanna round, you wanna keep the hip uh, chest up. Now, if you're on the floor, you're gonna sit with one knee out in front, one knee behind you, but that knee is going to angle out, not in front. And again, you're gonna keep your chest lifted and you're gonna to start to hinge towards that front calf, not over to the knee, but straight forward. And then if you get here, maybe you can come down to your forearms, depending on your hip flexibility. And then if you're lucky enough, you can bring your head all the way to the floor, which I'm not. <laughs> you just want to feel the stretch in that hip. And then slowly release that. And if you're in a chair, you're just going to untuck that, put both feet on the ground and then shake it out. If you're on the ground, you're going to swing the other knee around. Again, keep a nice tall spine hinging forward. If you're seated in a chair, you're going to take your left foot over the right knee 
Keep that chest up just as they are on the floor and just hinge forward till you feel that great stretch in that left hip. Oh, and that feels so good. Bringing balance, stretching both sides, releasing all the tension, preventing injury. And here's the thing, every thought, and I, I recall this from that last call, every thought, Kate, right? Every thought that crosses your mind, that's one thing that really stands out from your last, one of your last calls. Your body holds onto it like a sponge. So if you've got a lot of negative energy going on and a lot of stress and imbalance in your life, your physical body, your muscles, your ligaments, your joints are gonna tense up, right? So we are a sponge of our emotions and we need an outlet. So whether it's through any form of movement, exercise and stretching, you can come out of that and shake it out. It's super important to know that we need to release and find ways to cope. Anything that works for you. But the most important thing when it comes to especially um, movement and exercise, find something you enjoy that is the key whatever it is for you find something you like and just stick with that anything is good anything that's good okay we only have a few more minutes so i want to have if you can if you're able to stand and have something to support yourself i'm gonna bring you into some exercises that require balance. Some of you who take yoga may be familiar with this. You, if you know you have challenges with your balance, I'm going to encourage you to have a chair nearby, okay? But we're going to do is tree pose. We're going to turn our right foot, toes are on the floor, into our lower leg. There's a progression here. That might be unstable, just have that chair next to you. We're gonna bring our limbs of the tree up so you may not see all of me. Okay, and be tall. Feel really strong through your trunk or your core. So imagine your tree, you're deeply rooted in your left foot. You feel roots growing below you. Okay, and once you find that stability, if you wanna explore your balance, the higher that right foot comes, the more challenge. So be wherever you are tonight for you. Breathe, be tall, be strong. Have that really strong core engaged. If you wanna add more balance, bring wind and movement into the limbs. Like it's a windy day, but that's gonna be more challenging. So do what feels right for you. Take two more deep breaths. And let's just take a break from that. Nice. Shake it, shake it, okay. Again, we're going to get rooted. So our feet have roots growing into the ground. Turning our left foot in, we want to start stable. Strengthen and tighten your core, your trunk, and then bring the limbs of the tree up. And then explore your balance, your physical balance tonight. It can be that you keep that foot low, or you may want to try to travel up the right leg or you might want to include some wind throwing off your balance in all different directions. Just focus and breathe, feel rooted and grounded in this wonderful balance exercise. And then when you're ready, release. So a couple more minutes, hip flexors, front of the hip, they're deep inside that hip bone, they come up, and around and they attach to your low back. Most of us have tight hip flexors it's from a lot of sitting. We're gonna just open those up. So we're gonna do them standing. Have something next to you to support you. So I have my little chair handy. I'm gonna take my right leg back. This is a lunge position. My back heel is lifted. I'm gonna tuck under my tailbone. Already you should feel opening, okay? And you're just gonna, you don't have to drop far like an exercise lunge. You're gonna drop it and you're gonna raise your right arm. If you don't have a chair to hold on to, bring your left arm out if you need to. Really lift out of your ribs. You're gonna inhale to the left 
and exhale back. We're gonna do four of those. Inhale over and exhale back. Good, two more. Inhale over and exhale back. One more time, inhale over and exhale back. So when you come out of that, we're gonna lift the right, that we just, I just did the right. So bring that right knee up a few times, then bring the left knee up, then bring the right knee up. And hopefully you should notice that the right knee has better movement, more flexibility because it causes flexion. So if they're tight, it's gonna limit your flexion. So stretching is so important for your mobility. Take a big step back with your left. You're in lunge position, heels lifted. Tuck under the tailbone so you feel that opening. Keep the chest up, just drop that knee slightly. Feel that opening. Lift the left arm, inhale over. Exhale back, inhale over. Exhale back, two more, inhale over. Exhale back, one more time, inhale over. And exhale back. And for tonight's practice, I'm going to end with everyone standing if possible. And I'm gonna do one of my favorite poses to help end tonight feeling grounded, stable, and balanced for the rest of the evening and hopefully as long as a couple of days. So feet, stand with your feet, hip distant, palms face out, shoulders down. I want you to push those fingers to the ground. I want you to find rooted and grounding in both feet. This is called mountain. I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes as we end tonight's practice. I want you to visualize yourself as a mountain. You are the mountain. Picture any mountain, perhaps you have a favorite mountain or maybe you, you can imagine the most majestic, beautiful mountain. The crown of your head might be a snowy peaked mountain. Maybe the sun setting or rising above that mountain peak. And then going down to the slopes, your arms are the equal slopes of this beautifully balanced mountain. Perhaps it's fall and there are beautiful colored leaves. Perhaps it's winter and it's beautifully covered and blanketed with snow. Maybe it's spring and it's light green shades of new life or summer, the darkness of those deep dark ferns and greens. And then going down to the base of your mountain, your feet are strongly rooted in the earth for thousands of years. You've been able to withstand all sorts of extreme weather, storms. And yet you stand strong, and stable and majestic. You feel calm. You feel centered, you feel balanced. You can open your eyes, bring your hands to your heart. Namaste. That was incredible. How do you feel? That was so was great. Yeah. So great. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. I swear, even awesome. when I teach it, it makes me feel better. That was so good, Martha. So I have a question for you. Yes. Do you run online classes? Well, I do. Um, I've been just doing private. I, I have to say that I'm new to this um, sole proprietorship. Like I've just been doing privates, but I'm open to um, doing them and I've done it for juice plus groups for Kelly's group. Okay. I have done it. Talking. I'll be calling a full hour. Yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk okay. for sure. Cause I would love to have you come back. I thought that was awesome. And please feel free to drop in the chat box. Um, I'll also include it. I can include it in the email newsletter that goes out next week, 
but please feel free to drop your, if you have a website address or whatever contact information, whatever is the best way to reach you. Mm -hmm. um, so that if anyone on here or who is listening to the recording wants to schedule a personal okay. one, one, they can do that with you as well. Um, oh. But please friends, feel free to unmute yourselves. We'd love to hear your experience from tonight's practice. Is there anything that anyone would like to share about how they're feeling right now? You know, I used to be able to bend over and do that whole thing when she was on the floor um, with the knee bent and going over. I used to be able to get all the way down. I couldn't even get halfway. You made me realize I need to get my butt moving, <laughs> stretching. Thank That's you, sad. Martha. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, I say this over and over. I am as guilty as everyone when it comes to stretching. I think we're all really not very good at it. And that's why being forced into it is really the only way. I can it's, yeah, it's perfect. It was great. And that's why I'm thinking about maybe having you come back and do something for us as a group, because I feel like we all just like anything, right? When it comes to health and wellness, nutrition, whatever it might be, we all know what we're supposed to do. But having the accountability of a group like this, right, where we're coming together on Wednesday nights to become a better version of ourselves, it's just, it's just easier when we're all together, right? And we're encouraging each other to make the changes. So, um, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I gave you some really short notice to be here. So I really it's appreciate it. It's my pleasure. It's it was, always my pleasure. It was to, awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So oh, thank you. Diana, yes, thank, thank you. Sure? Yeah, I just want to say this was perfectly timed because um, I went back to work in September. I teach kindergarten online, so I have been on a computer. So the stretches you're showing from the seat are really great um, because you don't can't always get on the floor in the middle of your day. And um, the last month, I've been just overwhelmed with everything. I live in Canada. <laughs> And specifically in Ontario, um, they're taking away a lot of our freedoms and rights. And Kate knows last night or as of today, um, unless you have a vaccine passport, you can't go into communities that like gyms or schools or all the things unless you are willing to divulge all your private health information. So um, between online teaching and just the, the stress of what's happening. I really have not been very um, active. So this was what I needed. Even those first few stretches had, had my heart racing, even with the, um, with the breathing. So I know I'm sadly out of shape, <laughs> but yeah. So I need to go back to um, just really just working through it all and um, you know, dealing with what we have to deal with, I guess. I'm so glad you were able to join us because it was short notice today. I just let her know like five minutes yeah, before we came five on. Five minutes ago. <laughs> I, I totally, like I totally went off the rails in, for my Wednesday nights um, because of just everything that's happening and so much time on the computer all day with the kids that the computer is not my favorite thing sometimes in the evening. But um, yeah, so this was a, perfectly timed uh, treat that I really needed that. Oh, that and I think, I think you have a lot to balance and manage. I can't even imagine. I want to turn the clock back before I spent um, just quickly. I spent New Year's Eve, 2020. We rang in 2020 in Ecuador with Kate and I was so excited at midnight that 2020 was going to be my year was going to be clarity, was going to be freedom, was going to be all these wonderful things. I quit coloring my hair. I told my girlfriend, I am going to have a travel fund with what I spend on my hair. And then the world stopped spinning. And I'm like, fuck, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> so it kind of, um, yeah, it kind of sets us back. And, and uh, Canada right now doesn't feel like Canada did two years ago. Right. The whole world has changed. I would say the same about the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, and Diana, we'll talk offline because yeah. I'm curious to learn a little bit more about what you've shared. But okay. I just, and you know, it's interesting, right? The timing in our lives, um, as Kate said, you know, maybe she told you just a few minutes before this call even happened. 
literally sometimes minutes. it's just how it's meant to be, right? Timing is everything. And absolutely. sometimes last minute works best. Oh, absolutely. I did the quick scramble and you're so quick to add into the Zoom meetings. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so glad it worked. I'm that so glad perfect. it worked. Martha, yeah. thank you. It was just awesome. I, I, I exercise, I meditate, I, but this tonight was perfect. Thank you, Martha, I, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, it was great. So please, friends, mark your calendars for next Wednesday. Kate is going to have, I think, a house full, but she, <laughs> she's going to be um, sharing a recipe with us, and then I'll be sharing a dessert that um, all tie in very beautifully with brain health and the shred 10 challenge that, you know, our community runs. And I think Kate, even with, you know, with the challenge that you run, right, this all fits in and complements so beautifully. So please invite your friends to come join us next Wednesday. We'll be in our kitchens and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Am I putting my Thank Gmail here for you Bye. on the chat? Oh, oh and, grabbing it. and email is the best way to reach me. Um, I don't have, I do, I'm, don't even have a website. That's how little I am right now. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that is the best way to find me. If you want to reach out, I'm happy to um, connect. If you want to talk, mm -hmm. love to help in any way. Perfect, Martha. Thank, thank you, you so much. You'll definitely be hearing from me. Yeah, right. th thank okay. you. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Night. Thank you.